okay so here we go with today's topic uh, again on stress management right which is a, a very you know important topic for us and uh, today we'll be proceeding ahead with the term uh, from where we completed and we'll start here from the uh, important term that is what does stress do so till yesterday we have completed you know uh, the basic term of stress right so uh, the further definitions and many others based on health professionals based on well being self help so today we'll be covering this topic which is what does stress do right so we need to understand that if there is some problem so the how deeply and how uh, extensively it is going to affect us our health or anything which can be a negative part for human body or human mindset right so stress is something which is a big deal we cannot uh, you know take it for granted in life because there are many things that has to be taken care of because if it, it won't be cured then it can be you know a kind of a term we call depression so basically what does stress do it brings physical and mental symptoms situation depending upon the environment a person is having it brings various types of physical and mental issues uh, we can find different kinds of symptoms as per the you know uh, different functioning of different bodies of each and every individuals who is suffering from stress whatever may be the type of stress right and if it goes on and goes on if it continues at a you know a long period or maybe for a temporary part but of a long term then it can lead to depression which is the physical health decline means the degradation in health and many more so what is the term depression leading to how can we recognize depression what does depression do how it is interrelated how it is correlated to the term stress we need to understand this right so let's take an example instead of uh, making it too much you know uh, complicated some you know unique words let's try to understand it in a different way what is going stress going to do so basically what happens is depression is something which allows you to think positively all the time depression is something which forces you to bring out uh, un un un, un uh, you know required uh, problems unnecessary things uh, to think in mind these are the symptoms of depression it won't allow your mind to think positively to you know to work freely it will give you many hundreds of uh, unwanted reasons to be negative it will ask you to stay alone it will take you towards loneliness towards you know uh, alone kind of feeling will generate uh, some suicidal thoughts will be coming uh, if you are doing something or if you are trying to do something uh, maybe you fail or maybe you succeed after lots of time such kind of things comes into mind and these really affect in real life this is what depression does right if you are thinking to do something you know very uh, positively but uh, you will become hopeless on certain points in certain uh, life uh, statements right so these things come forward in terms of depression also it brings mood disorders right I means sometimes you're happy in sudden of a change you may be sad or you may feel uh, you know unwanted disgusted or like uh, annoying kind of feeling or a very disturbed kind of feeling you might get you would feel alone you would feel that like nobody is there to listen to me so these are the thing that brings dip into depression because of stress now how to come out of depression what to do again the solution is same we need to visit to some psychiatrist or psychologist and many other people or you, we can go and contact to some self help group or we can you know uh, help ourselves in terms of emotional things and many many terms are there but what happens when it turns you know when it takes a turn into long term business when it starts affecting you deeply and you cannot cure it with a short time of span you can uh, not come out of your situation whether it may be a small you know situation that you cannot tackle around so this is the basic problem that you face right now you need to understand the very second term 
first of all you need to understand what is the type of stress stress right means how depression will be caused or if depression is not there so what are the things that can come and which is the type of stress that leads to depression so that one can stop others and oneself also to go into depression right so we have two terms we have acute stress and we have chronic stress now what does the stress do so basically acute stress means something which is not too long in in terms of time duration or span means it is a short term stress that generally occurs if we are taking lots of pressure based on you know future thinking or something which has happened just now in past the relevant things that may affect future or may be affecting your present so this is what we call acute stress acute terms itself is defining the kind of stress which is for short time you know the less part it has to be tackled with which is what we call acute stress so it won't damage you in long term but yes if you you know if you are a kind of person who is uh, you know quite sensitive in nature who are, who is a uh, too much worried with things who takes care of very small things the sensible person then this can be even dangerous for those kind of people too so i told you in the initial days only stress is something which differs from human behavior you know different individuals behavior from different situations an individual is facing the circumstances the environment that he or she is belonging to he or she is within right so we need to take care of these things so basically acute stress is not dangerous in general terms but again if a person is you know highly stressed person he takes uh, you know uh, lots of pressure even in the small matters he is unable to ignore something which shall be ignored like if there is something you know uh, some small tension is going on in your family terms or in in a company where you are working or with your life partner or with some colleagues in your office or schools or colleges then it will affect you badly but if it's something like the person is cool and calm is uh, you know kind of stressed due to some small reasons then you can come out of it in short term i hope the term acute stress is clear to all of you those who are listening to me right now coming to chronic stress now what is chronic stress basically if we look at the term chronic so it is defining that something is you know serious something which is really going to affect a person in long term now how it will be affecting what does happens what are the symptoms that one can notice right now again if a person is too much sensible uh, sensitive or something like that if he uh, he or she cannot you know uh, take any kind of pressure on or tension on himself based on whatever may be the situation whatever may be the environment then this can you know lead to severe health issues memory loss okay uh, and uh, again slow eating habit is generally produced so when you are in the last stage right of uh, stress then you can directly call it chronic stress means if it is not able to uh, overcome in your situation you cannot overcome your uh, stress you cannot take it for granted you cannot take it you know any more on yourself it is leading to severe health issues it is declining your health it is directly affecting your mental health it is again giving you some mental pressure it is uh, affecting your work your daily routine your uh, you know personal life your professional life then this is what we call chronic stress Now, how to deal with it? What you can do? So, first of all, you need to identify the kind of stress. Okay, if you are finding such issues that like you are getting some health issue, or you are you are forgetting something, you know, very certain small basic things you cannot keep in mind, then this is what we call memory loss. If you are, you know, delaying while you eat, or you are not able to take your proper meal on time, so these are the things that occurs as stress. now generally what happens is when a person is busy at his or her work you know lots of pressure is there 
of work or maybe some responsibilities of he or whatever he or she is having for a shortened duration of time right then i won't call it as a stress it can be you know a kind of responsibility or a pressure that, that person is you know taking right now and for a short span of time then it is not called stress that is normal human nature when you know when you have some certain responsibilities and you have a certain time period you have to complete that then it is something what we call you know human nature that first i'll complete my work and then i'll take care of my health generally it happens but if it is occurring on you know daily basis if it is occurring on a regular basis then it can affect you badly which is really really not done so what will you doing in these situation what will you be uh, you know going through how will you be tackling your situation so you have to identify first of all the what is the kind of stress then you have to uh, you know visit to the concerned person the concerned professional maybe psychiatrist maybe psychologist you know the uh, kind of person who can take out of the situation and in case if you are unable to visit such people if you are unable to talk to such people then at that situation you need to find a person who is close to you maybe in your professional life maybe on your personal life it depends who, who if that person can understand your situation but don't try to you know keep yourself in that situation always anyhow you have to fight it and you have to come out with it right so what to do how to go for the study on these terms how to understand these topics the acute stress the chronic stress the term depression the term distress now uh, symptoms leading to this, uh, depression the things that is uh, coming into term depression how will you be understanding so we can do lots of things we can contact we can you know like we have so many people uh, you know in contact with us we have so many relationships to handle so we can you know uh, kind of interact with such people if we are able to we can talk to them we can try to understand their situation we can try to uh, you know understand their situation by keeping oneself in their circumstances because to understand something on his or her level the one who is, or the one who is facing that situation so the best way is that put yourself into that thought process then only you can understand the situation the things that is going on in him or her life so this is the way we can deal with things also there is a term we call it emotional intelligence generally this terms leads to you know a person who keeps ability to understand people who are engaged with him or her especially in professional life he is called he or she is called a leader who can understand the you know mindset mentality and a uh, way of uh, talking the way of behaving with such people you need to understand them then only you can ask them or you can take out of them, take out uh, them from their situation okay so this is the way you can take you know for granted uh, things if you are capable of understanding the things don't take it for granted when you cannot solve the things if you are assured enough that you can deal with such problems then only you should suggest somebody like what shall you do in such situation so and if you're not sure enough what will you be doing you have to take uh, you know uh, some deep research some study on these terms i hope these uh, certain terms are clear to you these terms will satisfy you and will surely help you to work on a stress management term so yes sir, your terms what you have to do how will you be proceeding ahead you need to understand if somebody is facing the term stress somebody is uh, facing stress problem then what is it doing to that person whether it is serious one or not whether it is it is short term or long term if the person is uh, uh, very sensible so how it is going to affect it and how will you be solving the problem so these are the terms that has to be taken care of right i hope you are clear with this right okay 
so we'll be moving ahead with a short explanation and that is what we having is if you know the term types of stress if you are known with uh, the person's uh, nature behavior if you can recognize you know people uh, with such terms then what to do ahead now uh, we have already uh, learned about the terms uh, self help wellness or well being and uh, professionals health professionals so now we need to relate these terms you know very efficiently and then only we can find a solution which can be used to understand the person who is in stressful mind this can be done hopefully okay so i hope you have understand these two terms the types of stress and uh, the term you know what does stress do including uh, like depression because this is what actually stress leads to if it is a severe case stress is directly proportional to depression if it is a severe case people who is uh, is in a continuous stress uh, you know mind with complete stressful mind is in continuous stress situation if he or she is unable to come out of the situation for long term then it is directly leading to depression which is really not good because depression is something that gives the first thought is suicidal thought if a person is not strong enough to fight if he or she can overcome the problems for time being for certain time period then he or she may feel hopelessness he or she may uh, not get suicidal thoughts but he or she may lose interest in doing some work right and he or she can uh, also face some mood disorders that is he might not feel good sometimes or he might feel okay sometimes it also leads to sleeping sickness sometimes stress uh, leading to depression may not allow you to sleep for long hours you may you know uh, woke up for long hours so these are the things that comes in field right so you have to take care of these things while you are working on this project you have to relate each and every term because it might happen that the four terms i have written only and many more are there which uh, is uh, you know affecting uh, the term depression and also explaining better way and the term depression so some people may feel hopeless may lose interest in the anything which are doing and also they may feel mood uh, disorders but not suicidal thoughts so how to treat such people what to do in that case these things has to be taken care of so i hope you are clear with these terms so uh today we will be uh, continuing till here and then i'll come back to the next topic with a very important part but before that if you are having any doubt you can let me know in the comment box in the chat box and i assure you uh with uh, the good solution to each and every problem till then you have to complete your details up to here you have to study uh, these terms which i have written here clearly right i hope it's clear to you right and we'll be moving ahead with other terms in the next video which i'll be giving you soon so thank you so much